Hi, this is George with Simpler Times Homestead, and I'm here with my youngest daughter today, and she's helping me work on a vertical planting system for strawberries that we're going to be planting today. And I hope you enjoy it, and I know we had a lot of fun with it. Yes, we did. <laughs> Thank you. It's about to start. That's fine. So, um, my youngest daughter's playing camera person today for me. Uh, what we have here, the start of the system, actually happened when we got a um, piece of a pallet that was used for, um, I guess it's not really a pallet, it's more like a uh, some wood that was used for packing to ship a large device. Um, and so that was given to us and it had some 1x4s on it here and what we ended up doing was taking the 1x4s off, just nailing them out from the back and using a hatchet to split some of the wood off there so they'd be a little bit skinnier. And then what we did was with some um, some spare milk jugs and, and uh, orange juice jugs that we had, we take that and we uh, take that slat and we, act, we put it through the handle of the jugs and then nail it back on the front. And right here, I don't know if you can see it, but we have two rows. We have one closer to the bottom. No, it's fine, baby. Thank you. And we have one closer to the top. And after that, what we did was we went ahead and we cut just where the the bottom of the milk jug makes like a little line close to the uh, close to the bottom right before it starts to curve and what we did was we cut that part from there off that way there's still some structure left with the jugs and whatnot but um, that gives us enough room and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to we're going to put some potting soil in here and then we're going to put our strawberries in here we're going to cap the bottoms and uh, this will hopefully be a nice uh, vertical planting system. So when we go to t cut the bottoms off of these, um, you can either do it before you mount them on the on the uh, split 1x4s, which I guess are 1x3s right now, or you can do um, like I did, which was cut them off afterwards. I um, don't really know why I did it that way. I just kind of wanted to, to have more of the integrity of the of the milk jug on there when we were pushing them on the, on the 1x3s just to make sure that they go on there properly and don't bend or, or break. So um, I cut some of them with a um, with like a razor razor blade knife. Um, alternately you can cut them if you have a really good shot, a sharp pocket knife. You can cut them with that or you can actually just get it going with that. And I have a pair of uh, pruning scissors here, pruning shears. And you can just take this and as long as you go around and keep it straight. pretty decent cut with that too. So there's different ways you can cut off the bottom. Just make sure you're careful and uh, and whatnot. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put the uh, potting soil in it or uh, whatever type of um, you know uh, potting mixture or, or earth that you want to put in it right now. So here we are. We have our planter set up. Now, it mounted on the 1x3s, we have the tops cut off, and the final step that we had to do was to fill them up with dirt, and then we planted our strawberry crowns in them. Now, um, it's interesting, when these fill up, you have to fill up the front and the back equally, that way the weight isn't distributed on one side more than the other so it doesn't fall over. Uh, the other thing is, we're allowing a little bit of extra room on the top of these, that way uh, the plants have some room to grow and they, they can it up too much you'll notice that when these start to um, when they start to get weighted down by the potting soil they kind of pucker up here they kind of form a, a point so you don't want to put too too much potting soil in there but uh, just enough so we fill them about half a little bit more than half between half and three quarters way full and that should do it for our strawberry plants it gives them room to grow and uh, and it gives them room to hold the moisture as well this has been George with Simpler Times Homestead reminding you that it's the simpler things in life that matter Thank you.